walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 In the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Jesse Vargas is predicting a knockout over Manny Pacquiao when they fight. And that's not really a stretch of the imagination, right? Because Manny Pacquiao has been knocked out several times. So, you know, it's not too far-fetched for Manny Pacquiao to get knocked out. And Jesse Vargas released a statement. He said, well, first of all, what's up with all of these fighters? You know, once they get to a certain level, they start referring to themselves in third person. You know, he said, I see Jesse Vargas winning in super fashion, like, What's up with this shit, man? You know, like, y'all know how crazy I sound if I start saying, you know, um, Travis Gotti got the, I don't know, man. I can't even apply it to myself, man. It just sound ridiculous. I introduced myself, um, Travis Gotti here, but, you know, I see Travis Gotti. Like, what the fuck is going on, man? It sounds like goofy to me. But Jesse Vargas released a statement. He said, I see Jesse Vargas winning in super fashion. I will stay on top and become a legend myself. He has a lot left in the tank, but I'm ready. I'm ready for the best Manny Pacquiao that will show up on that night, and it's my time to shine. I'm going to prove everybody wrong once again come November 5th. I'm going to show him I'm the real deal. I'm going for a knockout. The minute that he give me that opening, I'm taking it. The eighth round sounds very, very good to me. Jesse Vargas statement. Now, Jesse Vargas just might knock out Manny Pacquiao. You know, um, that overhand right, man, it, it damn near finishes, it finished Bradley. I swear, man, that motherfucker hit Bradley so hard. Like, I guarantee you if it was another round left in that fight, Bradley would have got knocked out. He wouldn't have recovered. That motherfucker was gone. You know? And um, that same overhand right was what did the damage to Saddam Ali. If Pacquiao get hit with one of those overhand rights, he just might be sleeping on the ground again. Like he was doing against Marquez or them bums over there in the Philippines. You know, I mean, it, I mean, at least Jesse Vargas is getting paid pretty decent for this fight, man. Because, you know, even if he knock out Manny Pacquiao, they ain't going to give him credit. You know what I'm saying? Even though um, Manny Pacquiao looked amazing, right? He even said it himself. He said, uh, I'm ready for the best Manny Pacquiao. And um, he still got a lot left in the tank, right? And he does. He looked great in a fight with Bradley. You know what I'm saying? That third fight. He looked better in the third Bradley fight than he did in all three of the Bradley fights. You know what I'm saying? Dropped him a couple times. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't drop him in the first two fights. He even lost the um the first one. You know, controversial or not, he still lost the fight. And it wasn't a highway robbery. It was a close fight that Pacquiao should have won. You know what I'm saying? But there was close fights that Pacquiao should have lost to Marquez that everybody ignores. You know what I'm saying? But they always want to make excuses for the Bradley shit. But they never want to bring up the Marquez robberies. You know what I'm saying? Bias like that. But like I said, man, you know, um, even if Jesse Vargas knock out Manny Pacquiao, they're going to say that Manny Pacquiao's washed up and he ought to retire, even though he looked great in that fight with Bradley. That's how it works. You know, and then if if Manny Pacquiao looked great in the fight with Jesse Vargas, they're gonna say, wow. Um, you know, let's see if if Mayweather wanna fight him again. You know, Manny Pacquiao is back. He looked this good in the fight with Bradley, and then he did this to Jesse Vargas. So, you know, he ain't gonna get no credit, man, but at least he get money. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Now, you know, I am rooting for Jesse Vargas to win this fight with Manny Pacquiao for several reasons. First of all, a Manny Pacquiao should be fighting Terrence Crawford. That's who he should be fighting. Keith Thurman called him out. Didn't even, you know, respond to that shit. Y'all remember that we wanted to see him fight Amir Khan? Before he made the third Bradley fight, he didn't fight Amir Khan. I was really interested in that fight at that time. You know, fast forward, you know, Amir Khan and got knocked out. Now, you know, that fight is out of the question. You know, Manny Pacquiao... Is ducking several fighters, and there's numerous fighters that could beat his ass. So, you know, I mean, it's, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if Manny Pacquiao go out there, you know, all guns blazing and get caught with a shot and go down and not get up. This motherfucker, he not only got knocked out by Marquez, but he got dropped, you know what I'm saying, earlier in, the, in that fight. And then he got knocked out. He was hurt, you know what I'm saying, on numerous times. I've seen Bradley hurt uh, Pacquiao. Yeah, you know, Bradley isn't viewed as no knockout puncher, but I did see 
Um, Bradley even knocked Pacquiao off of the ground one time and hurt him. I mean, I ain't talking about in the third fight. You know what I'm saying? Pacquiao was like trying to be slick, trying to set Bradley up, you know, pretending to be hurt. But I've seen Bradley hurt Pacquiao before. And I'm pretty sure, um, you know, at this point, you know, Jesse Vargas hits harder than than Bradley. If he can catch you clean, like he called Bradley clean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then, you know, he's going to hurt you. And knocking out Saddam Ali like that, who was undefeated, yeah, man. If he catch Pacquiao with that shot, it's going to be over with, man. You know um, you know how bad it's going to look for Manny Pacquiao if he get knocked the fuck out? First, you say you retire um, to go for run for office and shit. And then you come back to fight. And then you get knocked the fuck out. And then you still got to be the senator over there. Senator Pacquiao got knocked the fuck out. That shit would look horrible, man. Be a fucking clown. Bigger than you already is, man. I don't know how much they respect Manny Pacquiao over there. Because, like, I know all of his dirt. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, they voted for this motherfucker, so they must love him. But I'll be rooting for Jesse Vargas to pull that fight off, man. You know, um, hopefully he do, man. He He's far taller than Manny Pacquiao. Probably has a far longer reach. You know, Manny Pacquiao has been in a similar situation before. But, you know, Jesse Vargas is a fresher fighter than, like, say, um, Margarito was at that time. Or even um, De La Hoya was at the end. You know, that was his last fight of his career. You know, Jesse Vargas is a young fighter. You know, he's training hard, man. I've seen him, you know, uploading crazy training videos, man, lifting some big-ass weight. So, you know, Manny Pacquiao, you, you better be ready. Because you get knocked the fuck out, man. You got to go back to your people. And you got to go and sit in office, put your suit on with all the bruises on your face, man. And explain to your family and show you, hey, I seen when you got hit with that shotgun blow by Marquez. You know what I'm saying? Look like your ass was dead, man. Was that your mama or your wife? Motherfucking was freaking out, about to have a panic attack. You don't want to put them through that shit again. But you know what, man? I don't want no fighter to get seriously hurt in the ring. You know what I'm saying? But I am rooting for Jesse Vargas to win this fight and by knockout. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a cool fucking with you. I got a cool fucking with you.